Hello again, everyone. As promised, we are going live for the foods na pwedeng-pwedeng ibigay sa mga kids. So kung meron kayong mga food items na parati nyo binibigay sa mga bata, you can put them in the comment section at pag-uusapan natin yan. Tingnan natin. Are we good? Yes, I think we are okay. And bakit natin pag-uusapan yung mga pagkain for kids? Because akala ng iba yung low carb para sa mga matatanda lang o para lang sa may mga sakit when in fact it can be the best food that you can start your kids to have. I have my healthiest nephews and nieces. Yung pinaka-healthy sa kanila is yung mga bata na pinanganak nung naka-low carb na kami. Yung mga pamangkin ko na pinanganak at lumaki nang hindi pa kami naka-low carb, they are the ones na nagpinoproblema namin because sanay na sanay sila sa mga processed foods. Sanay-sanay sila sa mga biskwit, sa mga candy, sa mga muffins, and even sa kanilang ulam, it's mostly frozen foods, yung mga processed hot dogs, yung mga chicken nuggets, ham. So, since minention na natin yon, alam na natin that those foods are actually not the best for the kids. Kung pag-uusapan natin yung bawal sa kanila, is baka isipin yun, wala na silang makain. Pero actually, mas marami silang pwedeng makain. It is still the same food list na ating sinasuggest, the safe list. At ano yung nandyan? It's actually very easy and simple. Ano nga yun? Yung mantra natin, ulam at gulay lamang, sapat na. Hindi na kailangan maglagay pa ng extra. Yung kanin, very, very optional. Kung sanay na sanay yung mga batang magkanin, then that can be accommodated. But more than that, unahin munang tanggalin yung mga sweets, yung mga processed food. So if you can share this in your timeline and in your messenger, in your family and friends, para po we can spread this health tips and nutrition when it comes to properly raising the kids. Kung paano sila kakain ng tama, kindly do so para po mas marami tayong matulungan. And to start with, ano yung inyong mga usual na tinatanong? Ano nga yun? Sige, sabihin na natin. Yakult. So, ano yung yakult? So, yakult is a probiotic, but it is always with a lot of sugar. Alam nyo ba na ang isang bottle ng yakult and most of those fro- yogurt, ah, yogurt ba yun? No? Um, yogurt-based ba sila? Para silang fermented. Yogurt-based, no? Yogurt-based drinks are already loaded with sugar. So, yung isang maliit lang na yan, yung very manipis, I think 100 ml. Ah, no, mga 60 ml lang nga yan, eh, yung maliit. That is already 16 grams of net carb. So, yung isang liit lang yan, meron yung 4 teaspoons of white sugar. So, if you are limiting your your sugar intake para sa mga kids, you are actually going to give them sugar spike. Kaya, after nilang uminom yan, after nyan, they will run around, hindi mo na makausap, uh, they can become irritable, they can become not so manageable. Kasi nga, nagsusugar rush sila. And after that sugar rush, bigla yan magka-crash. Matutulog, o di kaya magiging mainitin yung ulo kahit bata pa. And sometimes we miss, akala natin, sa na ng ugali, bata pa, pero yun pala, they are just becoming sugar dependent. So, kawawang-kawawa yung mga kids na ganyan. So, maraming salamat for all the love. Maraming salamat everybody. So, buko juice. Buko juice, of course, it is better than the processed drinks. Pero, hindi rin kailangan na araw-araw talaga. Whenever there is for kids, they can tolerate more fruits. Mas matotolerate nila yung fruits. Pero, again, always, if they will eat those fruits, that still glucose and fructose at ko at kapag pinakain natin sila ng fruits na sobrang dami rin ng kanilang kanin and then meron pa silang juice then that is not healthy and speaking of juice any fruit juices yung mga extracted juice fruit juices the worst are the ones na tinitimpla because it's no longer true it's no longer natural mostly flavorings na lang yan and then kung the next one would be yung mga nakapakete those are also the worst it's 100% almost sugar in the form of either fructose or glucose at kahit pa freshly squeezed juice. As compared to like drinking juice, like for example, apple juice, 
mas mabuti yung pakainin sila ng real apples because real apples will have fiber, hindi mo mawawala yon and then it can have filling effects sa mga bata. Kasi kung kakainin nila yung apple, one or two siguro, maximum na yon Pero if gagawin mo itong juice, apat or limang apple siguro, isang baso lang yon and that is already equivalent to what? Maybe 20 teaspoons of white sugar kung sa sugar equivalent ito. So, it's not really that helpful. Mahilig sa egg, meat and fish? Yes, that is okay. Make sure lang na if that is the food na parating kinakain ng mga bata, those are actually the safest one in our safe list. Again, yung rice is nasa caution list natin. Hindi siya kailangan. We can survive. We can thrive without rice as long as tama yung intake natin sa ating proteins and healthy fats. Ang pinaka building block ng paglaki ng mga bata is the muscles and the bones and their brain. And yung brain natin, alam nyo ba anong composition ng brain natin? Dalawa lang yung major composition yan. O, gawin natin tatlo. Fats, proteins, and water. So, yun actually yung pinaka-essential. The glucose na sinasabing kailangan ng brain natin. Our brain can actually function better kapag yung kaniyang ginagamit na energy is actually coming from fats. It can function better. Hindi obligate glucose eater yung brain natin. Kung meron mang part ng brain natin na nga nga ilangan talaga ng glucose, it's only 25 to 30 percent. Kayang-kaya based on studies that our brain pwede siyang mag-function even better kapag ito ay hindi dependent sa glucose. But it's not an instant thing. Kailangan masanay muna yung katawan na yung glucose ay hindi muna parating kinakain. So that is the importance of doing low carb. If you can go back to our page sa ating uh, Facebook page, if ngayon pa lang kayo nakarinig ng low carb, we have the 10 Simple, easy to follow steps there kung paano simulan ang lifestyle nito para hindi naman mabigla. And so, yes, okay lang kumain sila ng merong kakaunting rice, meat, and fish. But I hope the proportion is also important. Mas marami dapat yung proportion ng meat and proteins as compared to rice. Or kung pwede nga lang, yun yung sinasabi natin, to make sure na kakain kayo ng adequate amount of proteins and healthy fats unahin nyo muna silang kainin. And so, para kung satisfied na kayo, kung busog na kayo, baka hindi nyo na kailangan kumain pa ng kanin. But if ever you will choose to eat rice, sisimula pa lang, then baka madali kayong mabusog. Then you are filling up. Pinupuno nyo yung tiyan ng mga bata na puro lang carbohydrates at kakaunti yung ating kanin, ang ating kakaining meat and proteins. That is also the reason why yung Filipinos in general, hindi matatangkad. Because our protein intake is really less. If you want build up, if you want physical development, kailangan talaga ng proteins. Kaya yung mga Pinoy, sila yon when abroad, sobrang lakas kumain pero puro carbs. Puro carbs at sobrang mga energetic pero kailangan isustain. From time to time, parang kitikiti na hindi mapakali. So, <laughs> these are terms na kinento lang sa akin. Especially with ng brother ko, si Coach Andrew. And also, uh, Alvin, kasi they used to work abroad and then Malam nila doon na yung mga Pinoy talaga, sila yung pinakamahilig mag-snacks, pinakamahilig mag-kumain, especially if there's free buffet, grabe yung appetite sa pagkain because we are so used to eating carbs. At kapag parati natin kinakain yung carbohydrates, hindi rin tayo madaling mabusog and kung mabubusog man tayo, ang dali nating magutom because that is what carbohydrate is doing. At yun din yung nangyayari sa mga bata. Biscuit, crackers, candy, muffin, kahit pa yung mga regular pancake and waffles, except for the pancake and waffles na ginagawa natin low carb. Mamaya siguro magkukuking lesson, magkukuking show tayo on another, another low carb waffles that we will do because walang pasok ngayon eh, although meron akong kailangan gawin. But we will see later this afternoon or later. Later siguro, pagkatapos kong maligo. Sabi ko maliligo ako but hindi ako nali- hindi ako nakapagligo because it's already time. Nakulangan tayo sa oras. Ano pa ba yung mga foods na palating binibigay sa mga bata na iniisip na healthy? 
Mm, parati yun eh. Ah, yung mga chocolate drinks. Ay, nako. Yung mga tinitimpla. O yung mga cereals. Nako, yung mga cereals. Cereals are cereal killer talaga. Because cereals, especially corn cereals, actually generally lahat ng cereals, it's made up of corn. At tapos meron pa yung sugar-coated, meron pang mga frosting, meron pang flavoring na nothing but carbs on carbs. Puro carbs na nga. Yung corn, nilagyan pa ng asukal. So ano yung mangyayari? Sugar spike? Okay? Sugar dependency? At hindi na imposible na marami ng mga bata ngayon na ang ating nakikita is they are already insulin resistant. Meron ng pangingitim sa kanilang mga batok. And then meron na silang signs of batang-bata pa lang. Alam nyo ba meron ng mga bata ngayon na mataas na yung blood pressure? Dapat yung bata bababa lang yung blood pressure. 80-40, 80-50. Ngayon, may mga bata nang matataas yung blood pressure. Meron nga akong pinsan na nasugod talaga sa ospital because of high BP. And he was even younger than me. Sobrang bata pa niya noon. And I think mm, nasa 20s pa lang siya. Meron na siya minimenti na gamot. And as much as I want to help them, but of course, hindi natin yun mapipilit. So even if our immediate family are practicing low carb, but we have a lot of relatives then na hindi nagpa-practice ng low carb. And it's okay, it's pro-choice. Yung importante, alam nila, at desisyon nila yung kanilang gagawin. Pero yung mga bata kasi, wala sa kanila yung desisyon. Kasi hindi naman sila bumibili ng kanilang pagkain. So as the responsible adults in the family, kayo talaga yung kailangang may alam kung ano yung pagkain. So sa simula, Ayaw talaga nilang kakain yan. I'm sure mag-wild sila o magtatampo sila kung bakit biglang nag-iba yung pagkain. Pwede rin hindi ninyo biglain. But what you can actually start is for you to do it yourself. Like for example, kung hindi pa niya kinukuha yung kanyang rice, pareho kayo ng ulam, meron kayong gulay, yung ipapakita niyo, yung kinakain niyo lang is just the ulam and just the gulay. And for sure, for sure, Mamaya, magtatanong yung mga bata, Mami, Daddy, Nanay, Tatay, bakit hindi kayo kumakain ng kanin? And that's an opportunity for you to tell them na kasi nalaman ko ngayon na hindi naman talaga ganun sa kailangan yung kanin. Mas madali ako magugusog kung wala akong kinakain kanin at mas matagal ako magugutom. Hindi lang ito tipid tips, but it is actually for health. Kasi noon, nung parati akong kumakain ng kanin, nung parati akong kumakain ng tinapay, Doon din ako mas nangangailangan ng mas maraming gamot. And you can really say that in all honesty. If you look at our groups in Facebook and Life Without Tries and Low Carb Feasting and Fasting Community, makikita nyo dyan na marami ng mga na win off sa gamot or even wala na ngayong maintenance. Hindi ako nagpatigal sa kanilang gamot. But they are monitoring themselves at nung pinakita nila sa kanilang doktor, yung doktor na mismo nila ang tumigil sa kanilang mga gamot. And as much as we are trying our best to be healthy, yung gusto natin always is prevention. And para sa mga bata, they have the best potential to live healthy way better than we did. Kasi noon, hindi natin alam to. Even us, sa mga young ones, tayo pa nagturo sa ating mga parents and for the parents who are watching right now, I congratulate you and I commend you for opening up your mind na baguhin yung ating way ng pagkain. Because nakita nga natin, hindi lang talaga ito just the traditional na tip lang na lower your lower your fat intake, lower your salt intake, at magiging okay ka na. Kung totoo yan, sana wala na nga umiinom na gamot na para pampababa ng BP. Pero for the longest time, like si Mane here, uh, for the longest time, hindi ka, hindi kayo gumagamit ng asin before, di ba? And still, and still your BP was before? 160. 160. In your 20s. In your 20s. So, ganon. So, kahit pa sobrang 160 over 110. Oh my God. And to think may, may gamot na yan, how many medicine for BP? Two. Two. Amlodipin? and uh, Oh, so dalawa na. And I think Therablock is combination ba? So, if it's combination, dalawa, mm, dalawa sila binibigay. Dalawa. Mm. So, hindi talaga totoo yung low salt intake will lessen BP. Yes, it can be helpful, but based on research, around 10% lang 
ng mga matataas yung BP, bumabagsak yung kanilang blood pressure just by 5 or 10 millimeters mercury. So, konti-konti lang yung pinababa. Hindi talaga. So, oh, kahit may maintenance, no? Oh, sobrang nakakatakot. Because it's not addressing the root cause. And that's why yung pinaka-root cause sa lahat actually is yung ating way ng pagkain, kung paano tayo lumaki. So, that's why it is important to start them young. Simulan talaga sa mga bata. So, what are the other foods na gusto nyo itanong when it comes to mga pagkain ng mga kids para pag-usapan natin? Uh, hot dog, egg, ham, chicken. Egg and chicken na lang. Okay? Yung hot dog, try to eliminate it as much as possible. Ako, honestly, gustong gusto ko yung lasa ng hot dog. Pero gusto ko yung idea na hindi ko na maalala when was the last time I ate hot dogs. Yun yung maganda. And kung ham naman, yung real ham, hindi yung ano, hindi yung yung square ham. Papakita ko sa inyo. Meron akong biniling ham the other day. Wait lang ha. <laughs> Papakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung ham na aming kinain. When was that? When was that? Nung pagdating dito, nasa na yung video ko ng ham? Para makita nyo ito. Hoy, it's not here na. Sunday ba yun? Sunday yun? Ay? Oo, hindi ko alam kung anong kulay ng aking damit. Mm, Nag-delete at ako ng videos. Pero yung ham na sinaslice talaga from scratch. Yun yun. Yun yung ham na pwede yung kainin at yung salted lang na hindi kinocure sa, sa sugar. Mostly salt and and pepper. Yun lang. It's already okay. Ah, sabi, first time to in interact, 13 days on masterclass. It was such a great impact. Wow, maraming salamat po, sir. So, peanut butter and Nutella sandwich. So, it's carbs and it's carbs on carbs and carbs plus a little protein with bad fats because Nutella and majority of peanut butter are cooked in vegetable oil, soy oil, and a lot of sugar. Yung Nutella, yung sugar niyan is nandyan and then loaded up with oil and then cocoa flavoring. So the cocoa, you can no longer see any benefits because you gave it together with lots of sugar and bad oils. So sorry. Mm -hmm. And good thing, meron tayong low-carb bread na available na pwede niyong lutuin. <laughs> Wala akong binibenta. Na pwede niyong lutuin. Nandun lang yung recipe sa Life Without Rice. You can always check that out. Milk, if ang bata ay less than 2 years old, pwede-pwede mag-breast milk. If after 2 years old, not required. Even after 6 months, hindi na required ng mga batang magkaroon ng regular milk intake. Hindi siya requirement. As early as four months old nga, pwede nang simulan, pakainin yung bata. And you, there are a lot of other food sources. Sa mga bata, they can still accommodate cheeses, real yogurt, hindi yung mga yogurt drinks, hindi yung mga flavored yogurts. So real yogurt, I know, hindi siya matamis. Noon, hindi ko rin yan gusto kasi yung parang panis, no? If you're not used to it, yung unang tikim ko rin ng yogurt before. Wala kasi yan sa bukid namin noon. So, yung unang tikim ko ng yogurt noon, <laughs> it's parang panis. But it grows on you, maasim. And since mahilig ako sa maasim, I love real yogurt. So, Indian yogurts, the one in the in Indian restaurant, Greek yogurt na plain, and Australian yogurt. Those are good yogurts, yung natural yogurt. So that they can get their calcium needs. And of course, maraming ring pagkain na mayaman din sa calcium, hindi lang basta gatas. Because sobrang hirap mag-suggest ng milk ngayon because the milk that are available in the market, yung mga powdered milk at kahit pa yung mga nakapakete, it's mostly lactose, yung mga, especially the powdered milk, 56 to 60% oh, sugar. So, sa isang baso niya, kalahati niyan, sugar lang. So, that's why ang hirap-hirap. Kaya yung, I know, maraming mga parents na nagsasabing walang gana yung kanilang bata, hindi kumakain kahit anong ipakain nila. It's actually, well, hindi actually na wala silang gana. It's because they are already used. Sanay na, sanay na sila na yung kinakain nila, yung mga matatamis lang, yung mga biskwit, yung mga ganyan, yung mga drinks, yung mga iinumin lang gatas. You really have to win your children. The moment they're already two years old, way past na sila. Dapat na sila mag-solid food. They can already start solid food as early as four months. 
yung ano dyan, yung basihan dyan is the moment na meron na silang head support. The moment na, na nagko-crawl sila and they can already elevate their head on their own, that is already a sign na kaya nila mag-solid food. At hindi ko sinasabing isang matigas na steak na mapapakainin nyo. Soft food, but it's already not liquid. So, mashed, mashed na mga kung ano-ano dyan. Yung ginagawa ng sister-in-law ko, nila Angela, is they boil, pressure cook. Pressure cook nila yung beef, pressure cook nila yung yung chicken, and then yung mga isda naman, hinihimay-himay. And yung digestive enzymes ng mga bata, yung mga sanggol, pareho lang sa matatanda. They can digest proteins. But they will have problem digesting proteins if sobrang mix na ito, may proteins na, and then marami pang kung ano-anong gulay, and then meron pang fruits, and then meron pang ano. You can try to let them eat one at a time. So, hindi kailangan mix. Because by nature, hindi naman talaga tayo kumakain ng bento meals na meron maliliit na kung ano-ano. It's not natural. Because before, kung nag-successful yung pag-fishing natin, yung isda lang, yun na yung kakainin natin. If nanonood kayo ng mga movies, like mga, mga old times na movies, if they get successful in one hunt, yun lang, kinakain, naluluto na nila, hindi na sila naghahanap pa, hindi na sila nagsasaing, hindi na sila naghahanap pa ng gulay. Actually, later part na yan, but the earlier part, majority ng ating development, our ancestors, grill lang. O, oh, sinusug ba? Yun lang, kakainin na. And it's not good for our stomachs, for our intestines to have mixture. Kasi yung fibers, yung mga vegetables, na ferment sila sa large intestines, nasa huli na sila. Kasi nandun yung mga bacteria na mag-ferment sa kanila. Pero yung mga proteins and fats, they are mostly absorbed in our small intestines. At yung ating small intestines, okay, sila yung mga in-charge talaga sa pagkuha ng ating nutrients. And that is also the reason why matagal tayong magutom kapag kumakain tayo ng karne. Kasi kapag kumakain tayo ng karne, meron itong taba. Ito yung tawag nating slow transit time. So matagal sila, mahina sila, hindi sila bullet train na mabilis. Ito ay mahina. And it's for a purpose. That purpose is to adequately, slowly absorb the food. And during that time, hindi ka rin manghihina because meron steady supply sa inyo ng inyong energy. However, if you are eating all of this together with carbohydrates, your body will always be dependent on carbohydrates. Kaya after two hours, gutom ka na naman. Minsan nga, hindi abot ng two hours. One hour lang, gutom ka na naman. So, try to try to eliminate your carbohydrates para unti-unti masanay yung katawan natin na hindi lang basta tinapay, kanin, pasta, french fries, yung kinakain, especially ng mga bata. So, what else? Ano pa ba yung mga usual? Maraming maraming nagtatanong eh. Energen, Milo, breakfast cereal, Coco Crunch. Nako, paborito ko din yan noon. Yung binibili ko pa yung Econopack. Kasi yun yung value for money. But not value for your health and life in general. I'm not against any product. But all of those foods are mostly just related to carbohydrates, sugar, and increase in insulin spike. So if you think okay lang kayo dyan, then you can enjoy them. Nasa sa inyo na yan. But for the longest time before, for the longest time na kumakain ako noon, hindi rin ako. I don't feel so healthy. Buti na lang nung kumakain ako noon, I was still in college siguro, yung pinaka-bulk ng pagkain ko ng unhealthiest food. Pansit kanton, tinapay, and then ano pa ba? Yun, cereals, Uh, feeling ko kapag meron akong budget, doon ako nagsiserial. Kung wala akong budget, tinapay lang yung sa Julie's sa Cebu. <laughs> Yan la And then Pansit Canton every afternoon. Naku, grabe, if I can think about it, no? Sobra yung pasalamat ko na hindi ako namatay. Because we have, oh, oh, kasi we know. Sobrang kawawa. Mga kabatch ko lang, like anak ng friend ng ni Maming, they're already on dialysis. Like, 10 years ago. They're already in dialysis. Meron din classmate, si, uh, yung ate ko, si attorney Kat, na I think 25 pa lang before, naka-dialysis na. Kilala mo yun. Mm-mm. At yung sobrang lungkot nga eh, pari pa yun. Hmm. So, yeah. Mm, so, walang excuse kasi I think those in uh, like 
mga sa religion, like even the monks right now, marami na ngayong studies that the monks are actually no longer healthy. Although they are fasting, I think after 10 a.m. or 12 noon, hindi na sila kumakain. But because of their practice, bawal silang pumili ng pagkain. And they're only dependent on donations ng pagkain. And mostly, yung mga donations ngayon, carbs, processed foods. And I think kung kayo, if you will have offerings in the church, try to give offerings na healthy, like eggs. Mm, hindi lang puro saging. Nako, a lot of glucose and and fructose yon Kaya marami akong kilalang pare na merong mga sakit. Buti nila na low carb na sila. So, hello Bishop. Hello Father. I hope you are doing well. I think, ay, nagka, ano pa sila, nagka-COVID sila and they survive. They survive because they are better health na nga. So, <laughs> San pa yun? Wow. <laughs> Ito talaga. Oh. Sunny side up egg, rice, boiled egg, milo, and rice. So yung pwede natin dito, approve dito, sunny side up na egg and boiled egg. <laughs> okay, so what you can what you can provide? Manok, baboy, isda. Hindi kailangang mahal. Hindi kailangang komplikado. Yung ginagawa namin, I'm not sure if you've watched all of our videos, pero yung ginagawa namin sa bahay, like magbibli kami ng dalawang kilong baboy o isang kilong manok, pagdating pa lang yan, hindi pa na ref, iboboil na agad sa kakaunting suka and then salt and pepper or salt lang. And then i-drain yung water, isa separate, and then lalagay lang sa refrigerator, sa chiller lang para hindi sila sumikip sa freezer. And then every time you want to eat, Five minutes lang, initin mo lang ng konti. Okay na. And then kung gusto ka ng sabaw, pwede kang kumuha sa sabaw, sa sa, bo, sa broth. Pwede mo siyang lutuin and sobrang dali na lang. So hindi excuse yung time. At kung sa presyo naman, yung isda, yung mga maliliit na isda, nakabili nga ako, totoo yun, nakabili ako ng 30 pesos lang per kilo. Hmm. So binili sana namin yun para sa sa aking mga alaga pero kami kumain din so pareho lang kami pagkain <laughs> ng mga ng mga pinakamamahal kong mga pitbull so pareho lang kami kinain hmm. naglo low carb na rin yung mga aso ko so they are healthy before nung hindi sila naka low carb mayat maya kailangan ng vet ang mahal-mahal pa pero ngayon nung naka low carb na sila yung problema na lang nila yung kanilang away <laughs> but no longer ah this one serilac try to look at your uh, nutrition facts ng serilac oh tingnan natin ha mag carb count tayo carb manager carb manager serilac para makita niyo para don't take my word for it okay one serving carbs in serilac so, I will screen share para makita nyo. So, carbs in serilac. Ay, proteins, merong 7 grams. Ang isang itlog, merong 6 grams of protein. Fats ng itlog, 5 grams din. But, 1, 0, or up to 1 maximum net carbs. This one is 34 gram carbs walang ang fiber oh. so 34 divided by 4 kasi 4 teaspoons 4 grams is equal to 1 teaspoon of sugar okay so magkano yan 8 8 and half ayun yung maniwala sa akin may ka carb manager ko kayo carb manager para makita nyo ang sugar okay carb manager sugar para makita nyo yung what i'm saying ba okay so, this one, tingnan nyo. Oh. So, actually, tapos ilalagay natin dito, uh, 8. Okay. So, ito. Tandaan nyo, ha? Yung carbs ng serilac, 34 grams. Total carbs ng serilac. Okay? This one is, share tayo ng screen. Para makita nyo kung magkano yung carbs ng sugar. Okay? Carbs in white sugar. 34 ba yun kanina? So yung walong kutsarita na sugar is 8 teaspoon also. 8 teaspoon of white sugar is equal to 33.3 grams of net carbs. So ang serilac, 
isang serving ng celery loaf. Mas mataas pa sa sa 8 teaspoons of sugar. So, yun. Hindi ako magsasabing huwag niyong bigyan ng celery loaf, pero itatanong ko, okay lang ba bigyan ng walong kutsaritang asukal yung anak niyo? It's up to you. Uh, whey protein, if you will do whey protein, just do whey protein isolate. Kung pwede, less than 1 gram. Or maximum na yung 5 grams per serving na net carbs sa uh, yung ginagamit na whey protein isolate. If ever you choose that way. But of course, no, ma, for those who can afford, you can do that. But for those who want to be on the budget and the healthiest sources of proteins, it's actually the... Natural ones. Lahat ng meat. Beef, pork, yung lean meat because yung taba, fats yun. White egg, egg white. So yung egg white. Kasi yung one scoop serving ng most whey protein, nasa 24, ano yun, nasa 20 to 24, depende sa brand. 20 to 24 grams of protein. Now, yung pressure niyan, depende rin sa brand, maybe 40 pesos or 50 pesos per serving. Yung itlog naman, five, one egg is six, 60, 6 grams of protein. So, para makuha mo yung 24 grams of protein sa egg, kakain ka ng apat na egg white. So, magkano bang egg ngayon? 6 pesos? 7. 7 pesos. So, 28 pesos. 4 egg whites, 28 pesos, 24 grams of protein. ba? As compared to one whey protein isolate na nasa 40 pesos and it's not filling. So, beneficial yung whey protein isolate sa mga taong gustong mag-increase ng kanilang protein intake pero hindi na nila ma-tolerate yung sobrang dami ng kinakain. Hmm, kasi madali sila nabubusog. And sometimes I also drink that because madali nga siya. Like, hindi mo na kailangan i-prepare, titimplahin mo na lang. But it's not requirement Pwede, pwede. If nasa bahay kayo and you have time to cook and then meron kayong time then to eat properly, yun pa rin yung pinaka best, the natural way to do it. So, yung probiotic, actually, hindi siya essential. Nabuhay tayo for the longest time na walang probiotic. Alam niyo ba kung bakit? Because yung ating chance sa loob, naturally, mataas yan sa, meron na yung mga good bacteria. The probiotics are like the, pwede yung i-replenish uh, probiotics is already the bacteria na pwedeng mag-replenish dyan. Prebiotic, yun yung pwede mako-convert pa. O di kaya yung kakainin ng mga bacteria. So maraming mga ganyan. But generally, kung ano yung kinakain nyo, pwede yung kainin ng bacteria sa inyong dyan. So iba-iba tayo ng tawag doon gut microbiome or gut flora. Okay, flora, flora and fauna, para mga pananim. So, parang ganun din yun. Yung environment sa ating intestines, iba-iba din. That's why may mga tao na natotolerate yung vegetables. Merong mga tao hindi makatolerate ng vegetables. Merong mga tao na do well, which is mostly meat. At nagbo-bloat sila when they eat vegetables. Meron din mga tao na nahihirapan if they're always eating meat. Pero generally, you have to understand na kapag kumain kayo ng meat, it's a given na kakaunti talaga yung inyong pupo. Because it's not a bad thing. Ha? It's actually a good thing. Because the meat, majority of the meat that you eat, the fats and proteins, are being absorbed. Na-absorb talaga ng katawan natin. So we are actually getting all the value for our money. Because lahat ng ito pumapasok sa ating katawan and hindi lang sila nagiging pupu lamang. Just like the bulk of stool whenever we eat a lot of carbohydrates. And it's the same way for children. Kung konti lang yung pupu nila, hindi kailangan ma-worry. But you just have to make sure na tama yung kanilang water intake. Hindi sila dehydrated. Okay? So be mindful of their water intake as well. So maraming salamat everybody. So meron pa ba dyan? Ano yung mga usual? Avocado and berries? Yes, those are low-carb fruits. Mm, sana all may avocado and berries, no? And then, nasan ba? Tingnan natin. So, mga kids muna natin. Mm, paano yung milk nila na chocolate flavor? Yung milk nga, nga hindi chocolate flavor, mataas na sa sugar. Ano pa kaya yung chocolate flavor? Because chocolate is bitter. 
yung totoong mapait yung chocolate. So, in order for it to be neutralized, kailangan tong dagdagan ng added added sugar. So, ano ba yung ano? So, tangting na natin. I-carb manager natin yan, okay? Carb manager. Sige, tingnan natin. Carb manager. Wala lang brand, no? Powder niya. Manager powder niya. So, we will see. Tingnan natin. Stop screen share. And then, screen share natin yung carb manager in powdered milk. Tingnan nyo. One glass. One glass contains 20 gram total carbs. 7 gram fats, 5, 8 proteins. At yung 20 gram of carbs, anong equivalent niyan? 5 teaspoons of sugar. So, yun yung binibigay nyo sa mga bata. And then, yung iba pa, no? I think before, meron pa na powder milk na nga, nilalagyan pa ng asukal. ba? Oh, my. Nagtikong hong na mi, Doc. Leftover rice last night, painit sa chan. So, may good news a little on leftover rice. Pero dapat, i-ref. Okay, dapat ma-ref yung leftover rice because yung leftover rice, kapag nare-ref na, it will become resistant starch. So, hindi na siya maging, like for example, one cup of rice, ang equivalent niya, 10 teaspoons of white sugar. Tapos, if you put it in refrigerator at kakainin niyo siya bukas, it will become resistant starch. So, instead of 10 teaspoons, baka nasa 5 teaspoons na lang, or 6 teaspoons na lang. So, it's lesser in sugar. Pero it's still, sobrang dami pa rin. So, I'm saying that to you so that you'll know. So that your decision will be informed. But I'm not saying na okay pala yung bahaw yun eh. Bahaw yun in Bisaya and in Ilonggo. Bahaw na kanin. So, kaya marami pa rin tumataba kapag parating kumakain ng bahaw. Kasi kapag kumakain sila ng bahaw, hindi lang one cup, two cup, three cups. Lahat ng bahaw inuubos nila. Maraming salamat sa pagmamahal, Edong, and sino yung mga naglalab dyan. Maraming salamat po sa support. Sige, yeah. Uh, sabi nga ni, ni Coach Angela, no? Oh, mother of four yan na mga pamangkin ko. Sobrang healthy. Low carb is for everyone. Best when done the right way. We do not recommend fasting for children. Yes, we do not recommend. Tama, tama. Good thing pinaalala mo sa akin. Eat on demand as long as we give them real foods and not high in carbs and sugar. Yung isang ginagawa... Uh, sa mga bata na nagsisimula pa lang mag-low carb o yung parang sinasanay pa lang natin, remove all the bad food and then yung hapagkainan in one week, two weeks, make sure na marating merong pagkain dyan. Merong ready to eat eggs, ready to eat meat, ready to eat anything na madaling initen if they want fresh so that hindi talaga nila mararamdaman that they are being deprived of food. And early on, masasanay sila to become empowered with their decision. So, kung hindi sila kakain, magugutom sila. As long as you don't give in, hindi sila mamamatay. One day na hindi sila kakain, titingnan nila kung hanggang saan ka. And, don't worry. Human nature, when hungry, is one of the most uncontrollable thing in life. Kapag gutom na gutom na yung isang tao, kakain niya ng kahit ano. So, that goes the same way. So, I'm not saying na pagugutuman niyo yung bata, but you just have to let them know that this food is not bad for you. This food is actually good for you. But if you choose not to eat it, kasi gusto mo, bilhan ka ng Nutella, bigyan ka ng, ng candy, then it's up to you if, if you will give in. Or you will really try to see kung ano yung kanilang gagawin when they're actually left with no choice. Don't worry. Hindi sila magiging ano. But of course, you don't do it forever. You can... Inform them well. Communicating with them is still better. Mm, yun yung sinasabi natin, hindi nyo kailangan hintayin na they will mature for them to understand you. Your children, no matter how young they are, they will keep up sa level ng mentality ng mga matatanda sa bahay. They will mature faster if you treat them as adults as well. Okay? So, yung mga food allergies, kung meron mga food allergies, di ba? Uh, usual food allergies, chicken, peanut, eggs. 
Pero tingnan nyo, ano yung totoong binibigay sa kanila? Kanin, tinapay, candy, soft drinks, mga drinks, cereals, all of those. Because yung totoo lang, you, the way you are giving them all of these carbohydrates, all of this insulin spiking foods, this one is the one that's making them sensitive sa supposedly good foods like eggs and chicken. But of course, hindi nyo kailangang i-challenge na papakain nyo talaga ng eggs and chicken. Huwag muna. First, you remove the culprit, the root cause, the carbs na nakakapagpa-induce ng inflammation sa katawan. And then later on, you can already start slowly incorporating eggs. Kapag mag Sisimula kayo mag eggs, make sure it's brown eggs, the organic eggs, or kahit hindi brown eggs, yung eggs na kayo mismo nagpaanak, nagpaitlog sa inyong mga, mga manok, okay? So the more organic, the better. And before, di ba, ikaw din, ma, you have a lot of allergies before, di ba, when we were starting, ano yung mga concerns mo nga na allergic ka sa halos lahat, no? Ano yun? Manok, itlog, manok, itlog seafoods, seafoods. Oh. Yeah. peanuts, peanuts. Oh. Yeah. but... Ngayon, na you are doing low carb na, wala na. You can eat them na. Yes. Mm, you can eat them na. Pero sensitive ka lang sa like, hindi fresh na seafood na. No? Yes. Ah, crabs, yung kabara. Pero kasi mga bottom feeders yun eh. They are not really that that clean, kumbaga. So baka sensitive yung katawan mo at tuwan. <laughs> ah, ako, wala talaga akong sensitivity. <laughs> Ay, nako. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm, ilang grams of meat po ba? Oh, mga sa meat, generally, no? Na you can eat as little as 400 grams of raw, of raw meat. So, half kilo of meat na raw. That's an average na need of protein ng isang tao. Na naka-low carb, ah. Because, hmm, because half kilo of meat, nasa 100 grams proteins lang yan. Hmm, because the rest are just water weight and other weight. Uh, kung anik-anik lang. But, but kasi on average yung mga proteins is nasa one fourth lang nila ah yung mga meat lean meat yung nasa one fourth to one third lang nila yung pure protein component chan so hindi yan one is to one ah yun yun yung kasi yung ano yung sa nutrition they always cut it in matchbox for portioning but I think that one matchbox is considered as one ounce twenty eight grams of of item, pero per one ounce, nasa six to seven grams of protein lang yan. Maliit lang. So, depending on your physical activity, sino yung nagtanong na yun? Si Stephen? 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 Ano ba? Depende, no? Sabihan mo ko, Stephen. Stephen. Si Bapi kasi Albert Stephen. Hmm. Uh, kung ano yung physical activity mo because the bigger your physical activity the bigger your need is for proteins so as little as sa mga lalaki I think it's a, as little as half a kilo of meat a day but it's under low carb ha if it's half a kilo a day but with rice with soft drinks with carbohydrates that's too much protein kasi nga Carbohydrates will make everything worse. <laughs> para siyang, para talaga siyang, uh, it's like, it's like waste ba? Uh, it's of course, carbohydrates are not inherently bad. Pero kapag kinakain natin ito, ng sobra-sobra, regularly, and it's already inducing insulin resistance in our body, then, ayaw na din. Um, hindi po ako naniniwala sa maraming mga supplements at mga coffees na dyan. Okay? Kung gusto nyo ng coffee, plain coffee, kahit yung nasa stick lang o yung barako o yung locally brewed coffee or kahit ano man. If it's already merong mga 6 plus 1, 10 plus 1, ano yung pinakamarami? 12 plus 1 siguro yung pinaka. <laughs> hindi ko na alam kung anong laman ng mga 12 plus 1 na yun. If ever you choose to take that, anyway, konti lang naman yun. Ng, like, in general ba, yung isang pakete, konti lang talaga siya. Like, one teaspoon siguro or one tablespoon. Make sure if you take them, huwag nyo iasa lahat ng inyong sakit sa kape na yun. And when you take them, take them with caution because it's already processed. And take them on your eating window, not while you are fasting. Para mas ma- maximize nyo yung benefit. Okay. So, meron pa bang questions about sa mga bata?
Yeah. So yun, generally, yung in dito, yung in-emphasize natin dito is the food that we thought are healthy. Pero yung mga food na hindi na natin minention, yung mga chichiria, yung mga candies, yung mga chocolates, yung mga... Ano pa ba? Ewan, ang dami ng mga basura kinakain ng mga bata ngayon. But they are looking really pretty, favorite cartoon characters, tapos ang mumura pa. But generally, wala silang value sa ating katawan. Turkey ham. oh sa Dubai lang ako nakati- nakatikim ng turkey ham. Para siyang, wala. Para siyang manok na manipis. <laughs> oh, hindi. Uh, ano ba? Basta it's very, very dry. It's very dry kasi hindi siya fatty. So it's good. It's a good source of protein. But make sure it's real ham. Okay? Yung hindi processed. Okay? Fresh milk, ganun pa din. Yung fresh milk, I think, nasa 14 to 16 grams of net carbs. So kada isang baso, nasa 3 to 4 teaspoons of white sugar. At by pediatrics, uh, UK ata yun na children's association ng mga doctors, yung added sugar na limit sa mga bata dapat is nasa 5 to 6 grams, uh, 5 to 6 tablespoon lang, yung cube. So, that's equivalent to just 20 grams of net carbs. Hmm. So, kasi yung iniisip natin before, yung ano lang, yung white sugar lang talaga. But now, we can see na hindi lang pala yung white sugar. Like rice alone, half cup of rice is already 20 grams of sugar equivalent. So, we are already providing too much, too much na sugar sa ating mga anak. One-year-old baby, takot na din ako magbigay sa kanya ng rice. Actually, meron ngang mga groups, no, like the World Carnivore Tribe. Binibigyan nila. They allow the kids to, walang, walang prejudice. Merong vegetables dyan, merong mga meat, merong eggs. So, without influence, yung mga bata, kinakain nila yung meat. Mm. They will crave for meat more. So you will see talaga yung totoong natural inclination ng mga bata. Although maraming factors to consider, like say for example, they say what you eat during your pregnancy, most likely yun yung crave din ng mga bata. And what you are eating while you are pregnant, uh, while you are breastfeeding, meron yung nalalagay sa iyong breast milk and eventually it also grows on the children. So the children will also have that inclination. Mas gusto din nila yung mga pagkain kinakain ng kanilang parents. So if you don't want your children to be sugar addicts, to be sugar dependents, to be carb dependents, so you can also lessen your carb intake while you are pregnant. Yes, yung cereal, yun, ang, if meron akong iiwan sa inyo, Kapag kumain kayo ng cereal sa umaga, it's like nagde-desert kayo sa umaga. So it's breaking your fast with a dessert and that's one of the worst things that you can do. So because cereals, lagay natin dito. I-carb manager natin si cereals. Okay? Carb manager cereals para makita ninyo. Mm-hmm. We will remove, uh, remove that. And papatita ko sa inyo yung cereals. So, car manager in cereals, oh. Sa isang one cup of cereal, meron siyang 2.5 gram ng, ser- ng protein. That's just one third ng protein na nasa itlog. 1.1 gram of fats. And it's 20, net carbs niya is 25. So, yung total carbohydrates dito is 27.4. Minaminus dyan yung fiber kasi yung fiber hindi naman siya nako-convert into glucose. But the other 25.5 grams is convertible to glucose. So, that's actually 6 teaspoons of white sugar. Okay? So, that's 6 teaspoons of white sugar. If we compare natin yung oh, 6 teaspoons of white sugar dyan. Okay? 6 teaspoons natin. Oh, 25 gram 60 spoons of white sugar. So, that is like kapag kumain kayo ng cereal sa umaga para lang kayong kumakain ng anim na kutsaritang asukal. That's the concept of low-carb nutrition. Okay? Yes, I think meron tayong, ano, pero kung tumubo, okay na, toge, ang bunggo. Uh, moderation pa din. Okay, because it will be high in fiber, but it will still have some carb content. 
pero ang hirap na siyang umaubos ng marami eh, kasi it's already it's already watery so that's why sige yes processed foods in caution list okay i know mahirap talaga fully mawala yung mga processed foods especially for children parang emergency yon ng mga mommies eh. i know i saw my in-laws na nahihirapan din when it comes to preparing food for the kids but it's important that you know eventually eventually you can already find a way tulad ni Sarah na gumagawa na ng homemade chicken nuggets for snacks very good so ano lang to chicken nuggets na healthy the one that you buy in the store di ba yung mukha niya para nang tinapay na matigas but they just mimic yung parang texture ng chicken pero yung pinaka healthy na chicken nuggets the uh, chicken breast you slice it into cubes and then prituhin mo those are the i think mas masarap yun no Kaya lang yung mindset natin, I think for me, yung mindset natin, kapag kumakain tayo nun, akala natin ulam na parang ang hirap mag-snacks na ganito. But you, it will take a lot of getting used to, pero masasanay. Like now, yung sister ko and my brother-in-law, Ken, yung tingin talaga nila sa pork chop snacks. <laughs> like, uh, nung kumain kami last time in Bacolod, grabe yung puna nila sa pork chop. Kami wala lang, pero yun pala, because they are, whenever they are outside, yun na yung pinaka na naabutan sila ng hapon or they have to eat outside na ano lang, yung plain pork chop lang na prito. Kasi parang yun yung parang at least safe. Eh. So yung asin lang, alam mo lang talaga. And then, or grilled pork chop para walang oil. So grabe na yung standard nila sa pork chop because <laughs> marami na silang pork chop na natikman. So yeah, uh, masasanay lang. Hindi kailangan ulam. Peanuts is starchy. Sige, i-ano natin, i-carb manager natin para sa iyo. Ang um, peanuts. So papakita ko sa inyo kung paano ko nang si-search ha para para malaman niyo rin. Okay? Ay no, 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 no. This one. So lagay niyo lang, Google lang. So akala nila Google University. Google is actually very useful, but you have to know what you have to look for. Kasi kung hindi mo alam yung hahanapin mo, malululak ka o baka basura yung mahanap mo dito. So, carb manager ng, ano yan, peanuts. Okay, peanuts. So, one cup of roasted peanuts. Tingnan natin. Uh, one cup of roasted peanuts. Uh, mataas yung kanyang proteins. Although, the protein here is really questionable because it's not a good quality protein. Yung kanyang amino acid that is digestible is not that high as compared to protein, say for example, na nanggagaling sa meat. So, you are not getting everything. But the carbs per cup of roasted peanuts is nasa 8.54 grams. So, kakaunti lang. So, it's two, it's two teaspoons lang of white sugar. Pero sobrang taas ng kanyang fat content. Okay, 75 grams. So that's why one cup of peanut lang, halos kalahati na ng inyong calorie need for the day. So gano'ng karaming peanut yung nakakain nyo. I think nakakaubos ako ng one cup before. But the problem about peanuts, hindi lang siya basta macronutrients lang. Mataas ito sa lectins. Mas, meron ito mga phyto nutrients that can actually limit the absorption of other vitamins and minerals. Kasi yun talaga yung mga defense mechanism ng mga plants, seeds and nuts in general. So I think yun na muna. Dami ko na namin kong chika, no? baka meron pa kayong gagawin. So yes, olive oil and coconut oil always. You can provide that for your children. Try to limit chia seeds, champorado. Try to limit your all-purpose cream. And if ever you ha really have to put cream, try to use heavy cream, okay? Real milk-based, milk-based, not pure milk, milk-based heavy cream. Why? The heavy cream is the isolated fat component ng milk without the lactose. Kasi yung lactose, yung, yung sugar sa milk, natural sugar sa milk, okay? So for those na merong mga conditions, we have a master class for that. So, better to do it the guided way, better to do it the right way. Sabi ni Juliet, starting to be aware of too much sugar and fats dahil ang nanay ko is diabetic. Also, 
age 41 died in heart attack. Oh, naalala ko pala kas niya kumain ng rice then sabay sa mga matatabang karne like gliam po. Then one time tumaas na din na po BP ko. So from then on nagpanic po ako. So I start to watch mga videos niyo. Salamat po. I gained a lot. I learned a lot from you. Mas aware na po ako now what food to eat and not to eat. Salamat po. Maraming salamat po for that testimony. Almond milk is low carb but Nuts and seeds in general, since it's a byproduct of nuts, almond nuts, we usually just limit exposure to two to three times a week only. Okay, fresh milk, ganun pa din, try to look at the carb, okay, 14 to 16 grams ata yun, yung full cream ata nasa 12 grams. So yung eggs, you have to know your your limit when it comes to fat and, and proteins, but generally, it's very safe, you don't need to think too much about it mas kailangan nyo lang i-control yung carbs. The moment you control your carbs, sobrang tagal pa bago nyo problemahin kung gano'ng karami yung eggs na kailangan. So, let them eat as much as they want. As long as it's together with no or very little carbohydrates. Kung kain mo ng carbohydrates, just the vegetables and occasional fruits. Our, the children in the family can accommodate more fruits. Okay? So, eggs are okay. Yeah, okay lang yung egg. Hindi kami naubas sa ng egg. Okay? Oh, root beer. Nilalagyan ng fresh egg. Saka ininom ko. Okay ba yon? Hindi ko alam. Bakit ka nag-root beer? <laughs> Preference siguro yon. Shirataki rice. Ito yung mga isa sa question. Shirataki rice, I only recommend sa mga taong nagsisimula pa lang na hindi kayo mabuhay ng walang kanin. But shirataki rice is the best example of empty low carb nutrient deficient low carb yes it's low carb wala siyang wala siyang carbohydrates hindi siya nagko-cause ng insulin spike but wala rin siyang vitamins and minerals so bulk lang siya so if you want the bulk for those who want to lose weight and want that ricey experience so you can have shirataki rice but just know na hindi siya nutrient dense so yung sister ko while well, she was pregnant uh, yun yung mga hinihingi niya. Pero ha, hindi siya masyadong pinagbibigyan because it's not really nutrient dense. <laughs> oh, pang craving lang. And yung, like, especially when pregnant, no? Kaila, they, they, of course, they need to eat. Hindi sila kailangan mag-fast. So yung problem, if they eat a lot of shirataki rice, shirataki noodles, busog na sila. Pero yung kinain nilang vitamins and minerals na nutrients, hindi enough, hindi sapat. So, I think, Mm, yun na yun. Tofu, meron tayong video about tofu. It's It can be inflammatory. So, it's up to you if you can tolerate it. But generally, we avoid tofu. Okay? So, yun lang muna for now. Maliligo na po ako. Maraming salamat. And of course, if you wish to know more, marami lang tayong Facebook group to help you and our masterclass to assist you kung kailangan nyo ng guidance. Maraming salamat po everyone. Always remember to stay low carb so that we all stay safe. Maraming salamat po.